Okay, let's do an example of normalized cross-correlation in MATLAB. Um, I'll read in a image here called I1. And I'll extract a little region from somewhere in here, and I'll try to find it in another image, um, I2. So one way to extract a sub-image uh, in MATLAB is using the imcrop function. So if I um, just give it with no parameters, it lets me interactively select a region with the mouse. So I'll just draw a region around this little bolt here. And that generated a little template image of 17 by 16. So just to see what that looks like, um, that's this little bolt here that I just extracted. OK, um, you can also, if you know the region location in terms of uh, starting x and y locations, you can specify that in that function. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the other image. Okay, so um, this is an image taken from a slightly different viewpoint. So I'm going to do um, cross correlation with that. Norm x core 2 is the MATLAB function. Okay, so this uh, generates a uh, score image of type double. Go ahead and display that. And, um, well, it has high scores in several places, one of which is where we expected it to, for it to find our, our little uh, template there. One problem, though, is if, if I wanted to find the exact location, um, the score image is a little bigger than the original image. The original image was 240 by 320. The score image is 256 by 335. And the reason is it's uh, bigger by half the size of the template because the it, MATLAB is able to generate a score even if the template is not entirely inside the uh, original image, if it just touches it slightly. So we'll just crop out the center portion and get, get a subset of that. So I'll use IM crop again, this time on C, and I'll say take the size of the template in the dimension 2 divided by 2 plus 1, uh, the size of the template in dimension 1 minus uh, divided by 2 plus 1 and then um, go to um, this is this is exactly the size that I want then Okay, so, um, so that image now is of, of the size that I want, namely it's 240 by 320. Okay, so to find the value, I'll use this command here, max. So I'll say, take the maximum of that whole image, okay, and that value is 0.9543. So it's pretty close to 1. 1 would be the perfect match. To find the coordinates where that occurs, I'll use the MATLAB find function, and I'll find which pixel exactly equals that, uh, that match there. So that occurs at 59 in Y and 241 in X. To just one final thing, I'll draw a little crosshair around that point in image 2. 
using MATLAB's line function. So I'll say uh, the starting location will be x minus 10. The starting point at the line, the ending point will be x plus 10. And then I'll go from y to y and color it uh, red. So I'm drawing a little crosshair. That's the horizontal version. And this will be the vertical line of the crosshair. So if you can see, um, I've just drawn a crosshair around the uh, location of the template in that image. OK, just uh, a note, um, if you didn't, you want to use norm xcore2, or you want to kind of understand the operation, um, this is how you would do it. So recall that the uh, equation for the normalized cross-correlation is this. So just looking at the numerator here, um, that's this equation right here. So uh, to generate the numerator, um, what we're going to need to do is, um, well, the mean of w is easy, right? That's just because w is the same everywhere. But the mean of f, recall, is the local mean centered at x, y. So we can compute the local means by filtering f with a box filter of the size of w, and then, of course, dividing by the number of pixels in w. So that gives me an image of uh, means of f. So to compute the numerator, then, it's simply subtracting off the mean from f and then correlating that with, um, with this mask here, which is w minus the mean of w. And you could compute the denominator similarly and then just divide those two using the expression. Of course, remember to use the period, which, which indicates point by point multiplication. Um, so just to uh, tell you about a slightly different version of a linear filter, um, the use of convolution. So we've seen correlation, which is this function. Convolution is very similar to correlation. It's defined this way. But you can see the difference is we have a negative sign here where we had a positive sign here. So this uh, effectively flips the function about that point. And um, another way to see that is to take the expression for convolution and just change the signs of s, right? So instead of summing from s minus m over 2 to m over 2, we'll go from m over 2 to minus m over 2. And we'll just flip the sign of s in all places. So uh, this looks exactly like our correlation, except we have a flipped um, mask here. So to implement convolution, then, we can simply reflect our mask around the axes and then do a correlation.